Charlie Kao at uh, the Indaba Trade Exhibition in Durban, South Africa with uh, Liam Odi, who's the Sun International's uh, head of Sun International's hotel division. Uh, a very iconic uh, brand here. Liam, um, give me some examples of the experience people can expect, the diversity of experience uh, with Sun International. Really, I think we're, what, what we try to focus on for a lot of our guests that come out to South Africa is the uh, fact that, that South Africa is a very diverse um, country. It's got a number of different experiences. Uh, certainly when you stay with us in Cape Town at the Table Bay Hotel, uh, you'd be looking to do a number of experiences within the hotel. Uh, you know, walking with a chef into some of the local areas in terms of um, experiencing what we call foraging and uh, taking some of the actual vegetation in the local area and going back to the hotel and then being able to cook alongside the chef um, and, and, and actually just just uh, getting a completely different type of experience that you may not necessarily find in other places in, in the world and certainly not in South Africa. Um, you get experiences such as that, you get other experience outside the hotel, uh, for example, uh, you, you could certainly do cage diving for those that are a little bit more um, adrenaline side of, uh, of uh, tourism, um, we do things uh, a little bit further up the coast in terms of the actual garden route, uh, as you make your way up the garden route to the Boardwalk Hotel, uh, there's certainly time to stop uh, along the way in, in places like the Titsukama Rainforest, uh, which uh, is something quite beautiful, something quite unique. Um, as you uh, uh, get a chance to actually stay in the boardwalk before you make your way out to Johannesburg, there are other experiences close by the hotel. Uh, the Addo Elephant Park is certainly one uh, notable area as well that uh, people just get to experience a different type of game uh, in, in that area. Uh, as you get uh, back into Joburg, uh, we've got two properties in that vicinity, one being the Maslow Hotel, um, and there are some local attractions really which are very unexplored up until now, uh, things like the human, uh, the cradle of humankind, um, where, where I know certainly there's been some um, uh, uh, great experiences for a number of our guests that have uh, gone and stayed in that area up until now. Um, What's the name of the property there? <laughs> Uh, the, the, the Cradle the, of Mankind? The, 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 well, the actual property is in Santon, so it's the Maslow Hotel. Um, and that, as I say, is, is uh, located not too far from the uh, Cradle of Humankind. Um, but certainly other areas uh, um, in and around the Maslow Hotel, such as um, downtown Johannesburg, where uh, you have a uh, neighbor, neighborhood goods food market, something which uh, you know, allows people to come through and actually experience some of the local cuisine, which is something quite different and obviously what a lot of our travelers and guests like to experience when they come into a country they haven't been. Um, if you make your way a little bit sort of north from Johannesburg, we've got uh, one of our flagship properties called Sun City. <coughs> Sun City itself is home to the Palace of the Lost City, which is um, a, a, an incredible property with, with great architecture. The Palace, for example, is uh, located uh, adjacent to the Pilansburg National Park. Pilansburg National Park is home to uh, the Big Five. Uh, it's also a malaria-free game reserve, which makes for, for a great option for anybody that unfortunately doesn't have the time to, to certainly uh, spend traveling four or five hours to other game parks, uh, perhaps. Uh, they've got a two-hour trip from Johannesburg to actually come and see the, the Big Five, which is a big reason for why a number of uh, tourists come into uh, Johannesburg. So we've got that as well as other experiences. And those are South African ones, but you're, you're, you're prop you have properties in other near, uh, neighboring countries, yes? We, we used to have properties in other neighboring countries and uh, we've actually just gone... Now the uh, focus uh, is South Africa. Absolutely. So it is very much South Africa. Um, uh, what we had uh, chatted about previously was the fact that we have looked to actually uh, engage in business offshore in South America. Uh, the focus is, is probably more from a gaming experience perspective. So there is a lot more development from a company perspective in South America going forward. And one of the programs you were telling me is, is a program uh, that consists of your five-star properties. What what is that program called? What is describe a little bit about the properties? What what's the consistency with that luxury? So uh, the the program you're referring to is called the Sunlux Collection. So the Sunlux Collection we really focus on uh, in our international markets, and it's made up of our five-star suite properties. Those four properties uh, in that collection are the Palace of the Lost City at Sun City, the Maslow Hotel in Sant in Johannesburg, the Table Bay Hotel in Cape Town, and the Boardwalk Hotel in Port Elizabeth. 
Uh, really the differentiating factor for us is we've got a number of uh, hotels and resorts within our group, but those, as I say, are our five-star properties. We link our five-star properties very much to the experiences within the hotel and in the surrounding areas because we believe there's a growing trend internationally that experiential travel is on the up, and that's what guests are looking for, experience. Absolutely. So um, that certainly is the way that we are looking to, to position ourselves uh, offshore with a very high-end product with great experiences, unique South African experiences. Um, and we are also looking now to try and look at, launch that in the local market a little bit. Uh, because we just believe there's opportunity for, for not only international guests to experience some of this high-end product, but also our local guests uh, uh, to, to indulge in that at the same time. Uh, what's the website for Sun International? Our website is uh, www.suninternational.com Easy to remember. Liam Odi, thank you very much. Thank you.